Welcome to L8 Tips. My name is Alex Hughes, and today I've got a really exciting little video for you running through the new features of Feature Pack 20, as well as a couple of Feature Pack 19 extras as well. So let's begin. One thing that will be available to all Feature Pack 19 and 20 users is we've added a couple of new 3D models that I'll be excited to go through you, with you here right now. So we've now finally got a DJ added, and we can see, like all our animated people, he can do some cool positions and stuff, and he's completely DMX controlled. He also comes with a set of Pioneer decks, which you can see him rocking out on right here. And it's, it's cool and a fantastic addition. Let's quickly move on. We've got a couple of new 3D people that have been added as well. I'd like to introduce you to Amber, Beverly, Francesca, Jessica, and Pamela. And these are all animated models as well. So again, we can, uh, we can get them to move, we can have them do like a little fashion show style thing, like you can see here, and they will be a fantastic addition for crowds and stuff as well, because we can uh, basically have some fashions on the field, you know, if you're running a trace or above license, you can have them sort of sync with the motion, so it looks like they're walking down a catwalk, like they're standing on here. Lots of, uh, lots of possibilities. Moving on, we're gonna get into some uh, Feature Pack 20 exclusives, and Feature Pack 20 is available as an upgrade for media and above licenses. If you have purchased your dongle version and not upgraded between late 2019 to sometime in 2020, you don't have to pay for this upgrade, you already get it, which means you're going to get some lovely new exciting features. Now a lot of people will be familiar with our robots here. We can see that we've got some of our robots around the old, uh, stage here with some LEDs on the top of them, but the new feature is pyrotechnics. Now unlike the pyrotechnics that we've seen in L8 before, these are not simply just videos. These are full dynamic flames and particle effects, which means that if while we've got these animated on a robot, if we move them around like so, we can see that the flames go with it. While the flames don't light up anything in the room, they're currently not emissive, the flames do themselves glow, which is a fantastic addition. And here we can see, you know, a uh, I wouldn't call it a realistic flame show, but a very cool flame show with a couple of the uh, the L8 robots that we have available. Moving on, we've got two more particle effects to show you. Number one, or secondly, as we widen out here, is our CO2 effect. So here we can see we've got just our CO2 jets running, uh, and we've got them lit using vipers from the top, and we can see that the gobos are represented uh, both on the floor and through the uh, CO2 haze, creating a really cool uh, depth of field effect. What we can also do is the standard PAR LED PAR64 fits perfectly up the snout of our little CO2 emitter, which means that we can create coloured smoke. And we can also just run the DMX controlled CO2, leaving the park ends on, and we can see that we get this nice little pattern when the CO2 jets fire and stop, which is a really cool effect. Coming to our last particle effect, I'm excited to announce, as we fade into a cool look, we've now got DMX Control Confetti. So we can see it's slowly falling from the sky now, and it is a really cool effect. And what it also allows us to do is, if we stop the confetti, while it'll stop falling, it won't disappear. So the great thing that we can see here is we're also demonstrating our new collision feature. We've set the stage floor as something that it can, uh, the confetti can collide with, which means that it both pulls on the stage and off of the stage. A really cool uh, collision thing, and it makes dynamic effects like these particle confettis and stuff like that work a lot better. Let's, uh, let's have a closer look as we rotate slowly around the stage and we get a really good look at uh, this confetti. Now the confetti doesn't light up, which is realistic, but it can be illuminated by uh, fixtures. So we're just, as I've said before, we're just using some Martin Viper profiles here and we can see that it's being really well lit up by the profiles. So let's bring it all together to cap off this uh, very short 
little keynote that we've got. Let's bring it all together. Let's bring up everything that we've got at once as we slowly rotate around the stage. So, to summarize, we've got new 3D models, we've got flame effects, we've got more moving people, and we've got CO2 effects. And that comes together to bring you the show that you see in front of you. I'm sure Amir Cohen is going to have an amazing, uh, cool, uh, very well programmed show. Mine's just a little put together thing, but it, uh, it should show you the basics of what you can do. Anything beyond this is entirely up to your dreams. If you are interested in upgrading your L8 version, reach out to L8 directly or reach out to your L8 distributor for pricing and information. As I previously said, FP20, which is where all these particle effects come from, is a paid upgrade for media and above licenses, unless you've bought it in the last nine or so months. Uh, and it is a very well worth a upgrade. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.